Mike, you see your specs in that? Yeah. Get ready, boys. No step, no step. Take up! <laughs> yo, 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 guys. Welcome back to another one. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Well, your boy is tired. I don't know why, but I am struggling today. Completely drained. But, again, welcome back to another one, and today we have an awesome, 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 awesome lesser hunt going to happen today. Now, here in Kansas, specks are closed, ducks are closed, Canada's are open, and snow geese are open. That's the only two things that we can shoot today. Let me tell you, this field was absolutely stacked. I found this field about three days ago, been watching it ever since, and let me tell you what, holy smokes, Last night it loaded up again. I don't know. My guess is there's probably about four or five thousand birds there. And today we're going to set uh, the same spread as we did a little while back. And that is we're going to set all the full bodies. So we're going to set roughly 20, 25 dozen full bodies. And we're going to set them first. We're going to set them real big and real wide. Like eight foot between every decoy. And then we're going to come back through with the dive bombs Canada silhouettes. And we're going to fill it all in. So... It's another one of those hunts. A lot of work ahead of us this morning to be done. But I do believe today is going to be an eight man hunt. We're gonna use the A frames. Uh, gonna set very, very, very little uh, snow goose decoys today. So very minimal white decoys, a lot of dark decoys. But real quick, if you guys haven't picked you up a duck's hat, I will link them all down below. We have a ton of new ones on there. If you haven't checked out all the new ones we have, you need to. Just go down in the description, click the link that says Ducks Hats. Check them out. If you like one, pick one up. When you guys purchase anything from Ducks, it goes directly to helping me. And helping me keep the channel going for you all. Keeping it going. Just keeping the old wheels going. So I appreciate every single purchase from you guys. It helps me out a lot. But enough jabbering. I'm going to get on the road. Let's hit it hard. We got a lot ahead of us to do. Let's go. Oh man, it's still dark. It is right at shooting light. And uh, check what we got going on here. Hope you guys can see me all right. Can't see it very well, but we did not even know that all this sheet water was even here. So I'll show it better when it uh, gets light out here, but we got full bodies and silos just spread out through this icy sheet water. Oh, these ducks, look at these ducks. Right there. I mean, ducks are literally bombing us landing on the ice already. Uh, this is an amazing little spread. We got the uh, blinds underneath this tree. This is gonna be a good one, boys. I can't wait for the sun to come up and I'll show you the spread because it's absolutely beautiful how we set up here. I mean, gorgeous. One of my favorite spreads uh, to date. Not the biggest by no means, but just one of my favorites. It's beautiful. Oh, whoa. Duck is still closed and they are here. <laughs> oh, just gliding on in there. Oh. God, they love that spot right there. That's that's a telltale sign. Every it is. We got plenty of cover. This is the setup here. We're underneath this tree. It is going to be beautiful. Sun to our back, so it's not going to be on our face today. This is going to be the setup right here, boys. All once, it'll make them talk if they are specs. Yeah, they are. Oh, first group showing up, specs. Ooh, that's specs. specs. Oh my goodness, look at all these snows coming at us. Oh. Wow. Oh god, boys. Oh jeez. Holy smokes. Specs out front. Ooh, doggy. Oh, that is beautiful. Ha 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 ha! 
Top. Take them. Nice. Not bad. That was just a right side they shooter got, over here. Yep, they're really wanting to do it on this right side. We're going to have to move the blinds yeah. around and we're going to adjust oh, some decoys. Oh, yeah, hopefully. Oh, three down. Good job. Good shooting, boys. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. These are all lessers right here. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely amazing. This is when you just sit back and watch the show, boy. Mike, you see your specs in that? No. Get ready, boys. No step, no step. Take up! Nice. Oh, got the last shooter, Mike. That was nice. Uh, the bottom got down. They took what was on the ground. Uh, that's, you gotta be careful. We, we don't go spraying into wads. That's what we don't do. You wait for the bottom group to get down and you take what's low. Oh, look at this. aren't they? Yep. Yep. All specs. Come back, boys. Get ready. <laughs> well, try to shoot them, boys. Oh, man. Dropped a big old honker over yonder. Look at that. That's a big old honker. Big boy, let's see if he's banded. That'd be a miracle. Big boy, we got us a big old honker, daddy. Your wing's all messed up, bud. Let me help you. That is a big old honker. Woo! What you got there, Bob? Oh, look at that big old honk, daddy. That's a got hog. Got a messed up wing, but uh, that's a brute right there. Got a, got a real nice group right here. We're not even calling. Take up. Nice. Good shooting, guys. Yeah, that was definitely the left side shot. Heck yeah. Two down. Two down. Tree branches in my way. Couldn't pull up all the Mike way. Mike, too. We don't need excuses, Mike. No excuses, okay? You didn't hear me pull the trigger. We haven't had that many on that side. Here you go. Ben is loving life right now. Yeah. Well, sometimes you just don't even need to call. That group just came on in by themselves there. It's really slowed down as you guys have seen. We had the big groups. They all got up at once and they came. We had two huge volleys come. Uh, we let the first big volley work. They, they went by us. The second big volley, uh, when the front group went feet down, uh, Wade called the shot there. and They did good. They did good. They killed what was right over the decoys going feet down. So, One thing I stress, guys, is when you have big, big groups of birds, don't just blast into them. It's, it's, not, it's not good. Don't do that. Work them enough to get the front groups down over the decoys to where they want to sit down and take them birds. Just don't go sky blasting. Those are all darks. Yep, they're all darks. I haven't had a bird in a while, 
a single work in a second. Look at these big old pterodactyls. Let him shoot over there. Take him! No! No! Come here! Oh, man! They're a little far. Well, they're pulling away. Yeah, you, yeah. That, you had to call oh, the you shot at the right they were, time. Yeah, they were just they were, a little far. Yep. They weren't going to do it any the minute closer. They started pulling out that yeah. other way. You called it right. Well, got the old trailer loaded down. Using Wade's new Can-Am, he got a Can-Am side-by-side, a brand new one, and it is beautiful. I mean, this thing is nice. Using Mike's aluminum trailer so it's light out here. We're not leaving a rut one. It's the way to do it, boys. Well, it is the next day. Let me roll up that window. It's the next day here, and I didn't close out the video due to all the water, all the mud, and all the decoys that we had to trailer out of that field. So as you can tell, I'm driving around scouting, looking at birds, but I wanted to do my end of the video. You guys know how it goes. Every end of every video, I like to give my two cents on it and, and kind of say what I thought worked and what didn't. So long story short, man, all of them came at once. It was actually two massive, big, big volleys of birds that came. And let me tell you what, the first group, we didn't even shoot at. We sat back watch the show type of deal it was one of them things there were so many specks in there and they never there was never like a front portion of that group of birds that really spun around and got down in our decoys if we would have ended up taking a shot it would have been a 30 40 yard spraying prey into thousands of birds and i'm not about that life but the second group did it really well and they went feet down the front edge did and uh, i don't think i even shot on that group i filmed with the camera and the boys shot really good they took what was right over the decoys i think we got them down to about six eight foot over those decoys there was probably 10 or 12 of them that were just giving it up hardcore one big thing i can say guys especially when you have specks and ducks that are closed right now in kansas you have to be careful. You can't just go spraying into thousands of birds. You're liable to uh, kill a duck or specks, especially specks. They're, they're mingled in really hardcore right now. So be extra, extra careful when part of your season's closed like this and you go spraying into big wads. I mean, I just don't recommend it. There's a lot of reasons why. Yesterday was a huge weather change uh, compared to the past two days. Uh, it was sunny, sunny, and then yesterday it went colder, south wind, low pressure system rolled in, good wind, a lot more wind, but full cloud cover. So my belief in the morning yesterday compared to the prior two days before that was the other two days they just got up and they trickled off. Small groups, 20s, 50s, 20s, 100, 80, 50s coming off that roost and that was nice. But yesterday, early a.m., when they were deciding that they need to get up to fly, they were like, ooh, these conditions aren't good. Let's all go at once. We need to get to feeding because the weather told them feed, feed, feed. It was a system rolling in. Colder weather, harsher weather. So they all lifted at once. Two big volleys. You know how it goes. I'm going to stop babbling, though. I'm going to keep driving and doing me some uh, scouting here. But if you guys like this video, you know what to do. Give me a big old thumbs up. If you have any comments, drop them down below. And if you guys want to help support the channel and help me continue to bring you guys waterfowl hunting videos, you know what to do. Go down in the description below. I will link the ducks' hats, ducks' hoodies, all that good jazz. And go pick you up something from duckswaterfowl.com. All your guys' purchases like I said, go directly to helping me do this. So subscribe if you haven't, guys. We will see you on the next one. Peace.